So this is our cow, Ginger. And uh, there's the baby. Just trying to show a close-up of the feet. And, yeah, and I can also film her uh, being milked sometime. Maybe I'll do that. Yep. Okay, we're going to milk Ginger. Hopefully she behaves for the camera. So that was to show you that she can be caught, well, and led anyway, and hopefully you'll be able to see everything I do for the milking from that angle. Got dairy wipes, and uh, come out like wet ones, that's what I use as a cleaner. Backing line goes into the pulse here. Looks like the battery died uh, when I was finishing up the milking, so you didn't really get to see the finishing, but I did uh, finish off by hand and uh, strip some milk out. Um, see these things are pretty short. When I lift them, it's right now it's vacuum sealed, so when I lift this up it's going to let the vacuum out. See? So when these fall down they, uh, they seal it off, so when I took off the vacuum hose when I was done milking, these things, this remained sealed. But now i got to get some milk out for the calf. And this thing top, on top is called a pulsator, and it just needs some oil every uh, every week or so. And uh, these are the inflations, and uh, I got the silicone ones because they're clear. You can watch the milk go through it. I like it a lot better. They're about sixteen dollars a piece, whereas the black ones are four dollars a piece. So I like uh, I like these ones a lot better. And uh, the kit uh, you can buy a rebuild kit for these pulsators, about ten bucks U.S. And uh, they recommend doing it once a year. I haven't done it yet, but I have. Two pulsators, I'm just waiting until one fails and I'll rebuild it. Okay. 
The morning milking always has quite a bit. Only about a third of that in the evening milking.